Hi, I'm Susan Shainer with Sage Leadership Strategies, and I'm your host today of Community Forum. And I have the great pleasure to have with me Jeff Zimmerman, who is a doctor of oriental medicine. And you can see we're set up a little bit differently tonight. So I'm going to talk with Jeff, but he's also going to give us a demonstration. So welcome, Jeff. Thank you for having me, Susan. It's great to have you here. Okay. Um, so we're going to be sitting here a little bit, doing a little talking, and in a minute we're going to do a demo. But before we jump okay. into that, um, can you give our viewers an overview on your background and explain a little bit about what oriental medicine is? Sure. Uh, my background is a little diverse. I started out as a musician and I got a scholarship to the Juilliard School when I was in high school. And then I decided to go to the Royal Academy of Music in London, and I received degrees from both the Royal Academy of Music in London and the Royal College of Music in London. I then began to work with the chairman of the board of directors of the London Symphony Orchestra, and at the age of 22, I found myself principal of an orchestra, and my teacher was my assistant. He said, you have too much talent you must go in another direction. And his best friend was Leopold Stokowski, the great conductor. And Leopold Stokowski loved acupuncture. And if you remember, Stokowski actually did Walt Disney, uh, the... the um, was it Fantasia? Fantasia, yeah. yes. He did Fantasia with Walt Disney. And it was amazing to see that they were like 40 years ahead of their time with the first music video. So Stokowski loved acupuncture, oriental medicine, he did yoga, he ate health food. So you had this whole background in music, and your music mentor, it sounds like, right. basically told you to go off in a different direction. Why, why do you suggest that? Because I was already principal at the age of 22. So he like, said, where could yes, you go from there? Is exactly. He basically said, you'll, you know, you'll leave here <coughs> and you'll play principal of one of the major orchestras, but it wasn't what you were you know, made for. You were made to go into medicine. So, you know, he was a brilliant man. How did he know that? He <laughs> had a very, a lot of sixth sense. In fact, his son became Great Britain's premier composer. And his son, you know, conducted major orchestras and still does all over the world. So when he said that, you said, gee, uh, um, I agree with that? Or, uh, yeah, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> that was, sounds good to me. I was, I was 22 years old. Yeah. You know, I trusted somebody who had <clears throat> an incredible heart and incredible knowledge. And since his best friend was into this oriental medicine, I had to investigate it. Stokowski had a way of conducting an orchestra that could make this gorgeous sound that the Philadelphia Orchestra made that other conductors couldn't get out of their orchestras. So, and again, being 40 years ahead of his time mm -hmm. in this, you know, in Fantasia, in music and sound, everything together uh, with movement, it just seemed like a natural fit for me to follow up in the you know, in those footsteps and say, okay, I really need to understand what makes these people so special. Mm -hmm. And their love of oriental medicine was like the, the perfect entree to that world. So, you know, I studied with the Chinese in New York, I went to China, um, and I was recognized to have a specialty called medical qigong, which we're going to demonstrate in a few minutes. Okay. And in addition to that, after I studied all the acupuncture, read all the books. So that's sticking the needles in That's in sticking people, sharp right? objects into people, <laughs> into meridians and acupuncture points. You know what, can you, more. Can, you, can you just, I'm, I'm going to interrupt you for a minute, sure. sorry, if, if I may. Maybe um, the first time. Maybe the last. Maybe the last. For our viewers that don't know the language of meridians, and can you just give a brief overview of what we're referring to? Yes, I'm going to give you first the oriental medicine view, and then we're going to talk a little bit about Western science. We're going to talk more about Western science when I'm working on your body. Okay. But oriental medicine's <coughs> language is that there's a series of electrical circuits that are running through your body. I'll make it very simple. It's just like there's an electrical circuit that runs from your wall outlet to your refrigerator. Mm -hmm. There's an electrical circuit that runs from the wall outlet to your television. That would be the equivalent, let's say, of a meridian. The actual television or the actual refrigerator would be more like an organ. Mm -hmm. Okay, so okay. not only do you have a, uh, an organ, a lung, but you also have an electrical circuit that's associated with the lung. Not only do you have a spleen, but you have an electrical circuit that's associated with the spleen. And through each one of these electrical circuits, there are different, I'll call it circuit breakers, or there are different um, acupuncture points. Mm -hmm. okay. So that's their language and definition of that. I'm just trying to make it simple yep. and, and edible for your audience. Okay. Okay? Yep. 
So that's what, what their language is. Okay, okay? great. So for me, the study of, I'm going to call it book learning, of where the acupuncture points are, yep. how they're used, and the meridians, and that whole, I'll call it, system of philosophy wasn't enough. I needed to understand what was the power behind these needles. It's yeah. not the needle, it's the power behind the needle. Yep. So I went to study the actual electrical energy that I just mentioned that goes through these lines. Yep. So I said, okay, who <coughs> has this knowledge? And in my mind, the Taoists had the knowledge. The Taoists, so I studied the entire system of Taoist Tai Chi, which is, you know, everyone knows what Tai Chi is now, the balancing of the body, yep. the, the slow mm -hmm. movement. So I studied that entire system with the system of what's called Qi Gong. Yep. Gong is assiduous practice and Qi is the energy. So to really truly understand the energy and the physical movement of that energy, I went and studied the Taoist Tai Chi and Qi Gong. So you really integrated these different disciplines and, and yeah. approaches of and energy, I, really. Right, and, and you have yeah. to. As far yeah. as I'm concerned, as an acupuncturist, in order to understand the energy system, you actually have to work the energy system. Yep. You just can't read a book. It's like reading a book about playing the piano. Right. Or reading a book about dance. Or how you, to ride a bike. Or how to ride a bike or anything. You have to dance. If yeah. you want to be a good dancer, you can, you know, you have to actually dance. So it's a very visceral, kinesthetic, bodily... It has to be. Yeah. It has to be. But that wasn't enough education for me. Um, at one point, my Taoist teacher talked about Shaolin Kung Fu. And so I needed to study the Shaolin as well. Because the Shaolin really gets into the physicality of the movement which then intersects with the energy of the Taoism, which intersects with the knowledge of the acupuncture points, meridians, and actually the uses of them. Okay. You gave me really curious about a demonstration. So well, that's why the, dem yeah. <laughs> the, de the demonstration becomes Western science. Okay. This is where it gets very, very interesting. Western science <clears throat> has gotten to the point where it has a language that in my mind parallels, I'm going to call it the secrets mm -hmm. of the Taoist Tai Chi and Qigong, the power of the Shaolin physicality Kung Fu, and the actual science of the acupuncture meridians and, mm -hmm. the, and the actual, I'll call it the science of the medicine. Okay. So all of those things have actually, thank goodness, now has been defined, in my opinion, by Western hard science. Okay. Okay, so if you want to do a demonstration, can we, do we a can demonstration? actually, yeah, we'll do a demonstration and I'll explain to you where the, I'll call it this knowledge, secret knowledge of the East yeah. meets Western science. Yeah, so that's helpful in your background in terms of you integrated all these different approaches, so a lot of the different Eastern disciplines and philosophies with the Western medicine. So yeah, I'm, so I'm going to okay. lie down and you're going to yes. show me how you yes. work with this. Actually, you know what, can we put that over there maybe? We'll just put it on the ground. Um, and we have Dan from our crew who's going to help us with this demonstration, right? Yes. Okay. So I'd like Dan to come up and just, just <coughs> take I just a... Lie here? Yep. And just take a feel of the left leg and the right leg and see if you notice a difference in, I'll say, the texture of each one of them. I do all this without touching, but Dan's going to do it with touching. Okay. Any specific place? Just, just the same place on both thighs. Okay. It's fine. Okay? okay? So just touch and you feel the, right? feel the, I'm going to call it like a sonar and radar. Okay, mm -hmm. there you go. And then feel the other leg. Exactly the same place, exactly the same touch. Wow. Okay. I'm so actually getting a jolt from him, is that? Yeah. <laughs> So do you feel, can you, get, can you describe one side softer or harder than the other? Yeah, I think the, this is softer. Yeah, okay. No, actually. Feel it again. It's, there is a difference, there's no question. Okay. That's it, palpate a little bit more. There, there you go. Good, and then the other one. This one feels softer. Yeah, you can actually watch, if you get a close-up of the hand, you can see how even the flesh um, moves more on that side with the same touch. If you look on the other side, yeah. it's tighter. It's physically absolutely. tighter. Absolutely. Is that just because my muscles are tighter? Um, it absolutely is. 
Is yeah, question. we're going to talk about your energy. We can talk okay. about muscles, we can talk about energy. Okay. In, in Chinese medicine, you're talking about the qi and blood flowing together. So there's, there's, it's softer on this side and harder on the other side. Okay. Okay? That's so cool. thank you very much. No problem. Thanks, Okay, so let's, let's continue on. And I'm going to explain a little bit more about this process. Okay? okay? So um, I want to go a little bit into Western science. The human body is looking it's called biological mathematics and the human body is looking for something called sync so well just a simple thing your heart pacemaker cells are synchronized by you know just by their design that's what they do when women get together and go to college they see all the time that the menstrual cycles just synchronize okay if you are looking at the circadian rhythms if you're looking at all the neurological and biological processes of the body. The cutting edge of a Western science with some of the most respected scientists say the human body is looking to synchronize. Mm -hmm. okay. So what we're going to do here is we're going to enter that world from the Chinese medicine perspective. So really get in balance? Is that what you mean when you say synchronize? That's right. Okay. okay. So your neurological system, when everything is fine, everything is flat and nice and you're alive. Mm -hmm. When there's pain, you're out of balance. Yep. Okay. okay. So what so see if you feel this. Yeah, I do. Okay. Now she may we talked about the meridians, we talked about the points. There's an electrical circuits that go through her body. Her neurological system is electrical, the brain's electrical. And we know scientifically while I'm doing this, if she's feeling this which many people do, um, it's actually the brain lighting up. It's not her feeling her leg, the brain's lighting up. Um, one of the things that was fascinating is that, I don't know if you know this, Susan, but um, many, several years ago, I was working with a Dr. Mehmet Oz and at the Columbia Presbyterian Hospital, he's head of cardiothoracic surgery, and they actually placed a dead heart in my hands. Now, they had placed in the hands of the reporter, of the Reiki master, uh, Mehmet Oz had it in his hands, but when it went into my hands, it turned on and started to beat. Whoa. They said it that started to twitch. <laughs> yeah. You're like, whoa. We were all freaked out because uh, Mehmet had already turned around. It's like, Mehmet, look. But look. nobody else did that with? Is that because it's just you were because tapped Because I've synchronized my body. The process of synchronization is... I'm having a muscle spasm all There we go. <laughs> oh, my gosh. <laughs> There's too much chi, too much energy in the room. <laughs> oh, wow. I'll start okay. moving. So, Sorry that. Right. So the idea is that when you synchronize yourself, things around you synchronize. I had a, a grandmother telling me, who doesn't even get her menstrual cycle anymore, that both her daughter and her granddaughter, when they come to visit her in Florida, their menstrual cycles, the, the daughter and granddaughter, they synchronize. Hmm. This is the principle of biological mathematics, and this is you know, being unveiled on the cutting edge of science now. Mm -hmm. So what I do, and I train people how to synchronize. So I have a 75-year-old golfer who's beating everybody else in golf, even people 30 years younger than her, because she synchronizes. See, when you're doing that, I, I, I'm also sensitive to energy because I'm a Reiki master, so I've worked with energy. But when you're doing that, I, I feel much, like, very calm. I can feel it right. coming over me with, like, a wave. Which, that's a really important thing. Um, one of the things we also did at Columbia is we had EEGs on the brain. And when I was doing this, um, they actually saw on several people the brain go into one hertz delta. Now, one hertz delta, it's impossible to be awake. So they say in science, when you're in one hertz delta, the brain's going at a very slow level. And that's where testosterone's released. That's where the, and the brain um, rebalances itself. So when people, they found people who were like 70 and 80, very healthy, they had the EEGs on the brain. And when they yeah. slept, they would get into delta, because that's how the body heals itself. Yeah. So this is great for depression and anxiety. Yeah because your body just gets into that state. So you're saying the way that you're working with me, you've synchronized or balanced your body. Yes. And so as you're doing like a, like a scan, right, of right. me, that's We synchronize together. Yeah, just like, okay. Just, and, and actually, a few weeks ago, we actually had um, thermographic imaging. So we used it on people and horses just to prove that it wasn't psychological. Yeah. So we have pictures where I would synchronize, and we had a picture of the horse beforehand, a thermographic imaging image, 
with inflammation through the horse. Uh -huh. And then when I synchronize either myself or the rider, the inflammation in the horse would go away. So that's how we prove that it was not psychological. That's wild. Well, horses are very sensitive to energy, right? Aren't they? Abs absolutely. Yeah. And, you know, they say there's never a bad horse, just a bad rider. Yeah. Well. Um, so. So here. now are you able to. Yes. The way that you diagnose and treat things, moving this energy. Yeah, right? because basically, again, we're back to synchronicity. We're back to, I'll call it sonar and radar. Yeah. In, in it, what I'm doing, if I'm synchronized and my energy is flowing and everything's moving in my body, when I go to, in Chinese medicine, I'm just going to touch your legs lightly, these are the yin circuits, the spleen, liver, and kidney circuits that come up the inside of the body. Uh -huh. So when you feel them, the flow of the yin energy is, I'll say, in, in this instance, a little softer than the more, I'll say, dynamic flow of the yang energy. Uh -huh. Okay, they always complement each other, and what you listen for is to make sure that everything's flowing. All the joints need to flow together. All the energy needs to flow together uh -huh. to synchronize. Mm -hmm. Does that make sense? So yeah. you feel for where it's not flowing and where it is flowing. More importantly, I'm teaching people how to do it for themselves, and you can do it in whether it's golf or baseball or whatever activity, cooking. Yeah, yeah. You know, it doesn't matter. So, so for people to understand, what does it feel like when they're in sync and then how to get there? Exactly. Okay. And it's an educational process. Okay. And that's where I go back to my music training because in music we had a very specific how you practice, what you do. It's a methodical thing rather yeah. than, you know, a lot of people say energy is hocus pocus. Yeah. But the more we get into some of this biological mathematics, the more it becomes real. Okay, so so what's your well, like what are you picking up on just as an example, something that's out of whack? Oh my god, do we have enough time? Is this a 4-hour <laughs> show? How long is this show? <laughs> just do something <laughs> low hanging fruit. Jeff, low hanging okay. Fruit. <laughs> well, what was simple to f to feel is that there's more of a fullness in your female side. Okay, and in your male side, and in, in you know, so in, in the side closest to me, there's more of a fullness. There's more of a, a softness, and on the right side of your body is more constricted. And anybody in Oriental medicine is going to say, well, that's you know, that's it is too simplistic. All right, yeah. I'm just giving you a very simple yeah. thing that you're feeling. Well, that's interesting because yeah, I've definitely typically had a lot of yang energy, you know, very dynamic, out there, doer, doer, doer. And I very consciously, in the last two years, have been trying to cultivate the other side. Oh, so it's working. So that was great. <laughs> so good. So we're working together. Yeah. Okay. So, so the, the actual feeling of your body has confirmed what, you know, exactly what I felt. Okay. Yeah. All right. So. Um, now, in terms of... Um, you do a lot of work with the organs, right? So is there anything you can pick up on in terms of something? That's a very good question. Out of sync here? That's a <coughs> very good question. Me personally, I love Western science. Um, I love that people go to their Western physician mm -hmm. and get fully checked out by Western medicine. Okay. Okay. So you so, work in complement to that. Absolutely. So yes, I can tell you things about your lungs or whatever, but n you know, in my world, I really appreciate when people have actually gone to their Western doctor, have been fully checked out, you know, and they go to their other, you know, physicians yeah. and naturopaths. So let me give you an example. So I'm getting over bronchitis. I've been well, you, yeah, I said your lungs were a little tight a minute yeah. ago. Yeah, okay. 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 But, you know, so again. So you picked up on that. Yeah. So it's, more importantly, see if they open up. <laughs> yeah. Okay, and we've done, we've done those things as well. I had somebody that had asthma for like 35 years and one or two treatments, it was gone. Really? The body is very smart. Let's make this very clear. It's not me. It is the synchronization process that your body goes through, okay? Mm -hmm. When your body synchronizes, I've seen, you know, medical miracles, but to take the credit, no, the credit is your body. Yeah. The person was ready to have their lungs suddenly fix themselves. But without the synchronization process, it just wouldn't happen. So you just help free up and balance the energy meridians so the body can naturally sync itself. It's is way it? beyond that. Okay. Okay, because 
it's not just the meridians and the acupuncture points. It's the fact that I've synchronized my whole system, going mm -hmm. back to the Shaolin, yeah. having to synchronize the physical movement, okay. the Taoism, the physical energy in the whole body. Then the acupuncture meridians and, and circuits based upon the knowledge base of the books. Okay, so so the first thing you do is you do a scan to try to f feel where there's something's out of balance. Right. You do some sort of diagnostic. Yeah. If if you're coming to me, if you're saying if somebody's yeah. coming to me, yeah. oftentimes and you know many I, they've already been to their Western physician. Yeah. Okay, so they already they want have, something complimentary. Right. They've already had or integrated. Um, uh, it's the new term. Yes. Integrated is the yes, new term. Yes, yes. Yeah. <laughs> so, so basically, they have a Western diagnosis. You want them to have, you know, a, a basis. Yeah. Because they're, uh, um, that's where I come from. Other people are just going to the energy world. But I think in science, it's good to have both. So you already know that somebody has an asthma condition or a spleen or lung or heart yeah, condition. Yeah, right. But, you know, again, the, the integrativeness of this is that I can help their body to synchronize. So let's do this example. So I'm coming off of antibiotics. You know, I did the Western thing. I've tried Great. everything holistic, and I was like, okay, I have to go on antibiotics. So I'm well, coming off the tail end of, it, of the antibiotics. Yes. Now, you said you picked up on my lungs. Now, what would you do to sort of help that along a little bit? Uh, well, as an example. Okay. As an example, which we did not do here, is I take your pulses Chinese style. I would listen to your liver, your spleen, your heart, your kidneys. Now, and again, going back to oriental medicine, talk about synchronization. Uh, oriental medicine looks at, I'll call the synchronization between your lung and your large intestine, mm -hmm. between your lung and your spleen, Kay. between your spleen and your stomach. I mean, there's just uh, many, many circuits, many, many interior relationships in the body mm -hmm. that need to synchronize. So your lungs need to synchronize with your kidneys, they need to synchronize with your large intestine, they need to synchronize with your spleen. And those are just three simplistic things that they're looking to how they're looking to synchronize. So in oriental medicine we would take your pulses and listen to, oh, okay, the liver's a little bit out of sync with the gallbladder, or the liver's a little bit out of sync with, you know, some other circuit. So you in kind the of body. tinker with adjustments in the whole system. Well in when the you relationships? Yeah, and but then on a higher level, when you actually synchronize yourself mm -hmm. or when your own body is synchronized, just like women's menstrual cycles, yeah. the way they're designed, just like your heart pacemaker cells, the way they're designed, just like your whole neurological system, the way that it's designed, yeah. it heals itself very quickly. Okay? It does it. All right? So when people have said, oh, what a great healer, the great healer is already built in in design into your body. And that's the beauty of this. So the more that I get out of the way, the more that I've trained my own body to synchronize, the better it is. So, so now let me just, I'm going to play devil's advocate a minute. Oh, right? please. So for, for our viewers who are just saying, what is he doing? He's just standing over her, you yeah. know. Exactly. exactly. <laughs> What's going on here? That's right. a bunch of well, focus. What would you right. say? What do I say? Okay. <laughs> Let's say you eat a meal. Yeah. Right? Do you go, oh, wow, I feel the vitamin A going, oh, wait, there's the vitamin C. <laughs> All right, okay, now, right. If the, oh, the beta carotene is right, going. Right. Do you feel that when you're actually eating a meal? When you're drinking a shake, do you feel, oh, my goodness, oh, okay, there's, all right, there it is, the C and the K. No. That's how subtle the human body is. You're right, right. Okay, so, you know, when you're saying it's just all hocus pocus, well, it's just hocus pocus when I put the food in my mouth and suddenly it makes me. Yeah. Okay. So does this, can I, can I set up or is Sure, it, is that, sure. Okay. And, I, you know, and so. one other thing, you know, again, and one, another piece of the puzzle here is that. Uh, that actually feels good, by the way. I mean, I feel, good. <laughs> I is feel it, a lot calmer. This yeah. is terrific. <laughs> I told you, it's great for anxiety and depression. And the other thing is, yeah. which, we, which we found out, which was fascinating, is that um, we've used it in strength training, in sports. We have guys get to their highest level. And we had, the highest we ever got was 23% above his highest level of lifting. We had some NFL players go to 7% or to 10% above, you know, so they're lifting their max. And then we get them into sync, and they can lift more because you're lifting from your whole body. Now it's synchronized. So it has to be very rewarding for you to do this work with people. I mean, what what motivates you? Like, where do you really get your charge, no pun intended, sorry, <laughs> in do, <laughs> doing this work? <laughs> The charge is seeing the results in people's lives. Yeah. Okay. I get a lot of people that it's much more of a, a life-changing situation. I'm in this job. I really don't want to be in this job. I want to be doing something else with my life. Mm -hmm. you, you synchronize the body, and I had one guy, like a, you know, a $40 million 
problem was solved overnight. Or they, you know, I really wanted to do this and suddenly opportunity comes to them. So again, back to just, it's not just the physical, biochemical, uh, biological mathematics, it's your whole life, it's your mental so, experience. So you're really helping people just get more balanced and aligned with who they, who they are. are on all levels. Exactly, and again, I help in the synchronization process, but they actually do, it's within yeah. themselves, because they've yeah. always wanted to be who they are. Yeah. And I think as we're seeing, you know, we're seeing this more and more in life, that people are, you know, they need to take the time to find out who am I, you know, yeah. what am I doing here? Yeah. Well, in terms of all the shifts and changes that are taking place on the planet these days, <laughs> yes. I mean, there's a lot of, enough anxiety to go around, right? Exactly. <laughs> so, so that's another reason, that's the great thing, if you get in balance, you yeah. feel good, and then your life begins to reflect that. I always wanted to do this, and it's amazing how your body's in sync, and you do it. You have the strength to do it, you feel good, mm -hmm. and the other thing about the sync is that, like you said, your whole body kind of turns on and it just feels good. So no matter what's happening in your life, you carry on this internal feeling of wellness and you don't have to get it from somewhere. So we have another minute, I know, okay. it's, it's, it's so much we could, we could talk about. Um, in closing, how would you sort of summarize what your hope is for this work and where you want to take it? Because you've worked with, what, like hundreds or thousands of people over the years? Mm -hmm. It sounds like you've had an impact. Yeah, where, where I'm taking it now is I'm teaching people how to synchronize for themselves. Mm -hmm. Because, you know, as you see, we can't do one person at a time anymore. Yeah. And I'm bringing out technology that will support that. Okay, and I want to, you know, I want to use, I want to teach people and get them to become who they are. And the way they do it is the natural state of the human being. And that's that synchronization process. So if you want to do it in Pilates, let's synchronize that. And there's a, there's a whole system of, you know, how to practice what to practice that I, I'm bringing out to the world so they can do whatever they want. So, so if someone was interested in talking to you or finding more about, about your work, um, is there an email or a website where they could contact you? Sure. Do you want me to give that to you now, or do yeah, you just print right. it on the... Yeah, you can do it now. Oh, it's uh, www.jeffreyczimmerman.wordpress.com or z-i-m-j at optonline.net. Okay. O-p-t-o-n-l-i-n-e oh, okay. dot net. Great. All right. Thanks, Jeff, for joining us. Really Thank you. We really appreciate it. It's been fascinating. All right. Thanks. I'm Susan Shaner with Community Forum. Until next time, thanks for joining us.